Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be October favorites. You know I love filming favorites videos because basically I feel like I just get to talk to you guys and just talk about my favorite things, which hello, who wouldn't want to do that? It's like the best combination ever. So I don't have too many things, but it's kind of an assortment. And can we first of all say that, holy crap, it's November. I feel like I already need to start Christmas shopping and the year went by, but I'm sure everyone is saying that and you're hearing that from everybody. So let's get started. My first favorite is a foundation. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. It is the foundation I'm wearing today. This is in the color Punjab Medium 1. Basically, I think I've talked about this foundation multiple times in previous videos, but I just, when I'm in a hurry or when I just feel like I need a foundation that won't let me down and I need to feel comfortable and confident and I know it's gonna look amazing every time, Nars Sheer Glow. It's just so awesome, literally it's, it's like my go-to foundation. I try a ton of different things, but I always go back to this. Now, it's not sheer, it's definitely buildable. I feel like it gives me the most beautiful medium coverage that you can build up. I love this. If you are on the fence about this, I highly, highly recommend it. Actually, for the Sephora VIB sale that just started today, today's Friday, I'm gonna go tomorrow and just do a huge, like I have a whole list of things going I wanna get. Replacements for this color, which is my lighter one, as well as Stromboli, which is my medium darker color. I'm going to be purchasing those in the sale. All right, next item is this Ultra Brow, Ultra? Ulta Brow Tint in Light. I have been using this nonstop since I got it. I put this over my brows today. Basically, the light color, this is not light. Like, this is dark pretty much compared to other light brow gels. But I like how small the applicator is. It's very nice and small. It's very comparable to the Benefit Give Me Brow, but it's a lot less expensive. I have the Benefit Give Me Brow in light medium, and I feel like this one is uh, not as dark. I am loving this. I feel like it just gives that extra color and dimension and kind of makes the brow hairs look more like natural brow hairs when I put this on over a pencil. And yeah, as you can see, the bottom one is the Ulta Brow Tint in Light, and this is the Benefit Gimme Brow in Light Medium. It's definitely darker. So if you're super fair, I wouldn't recommend it. But overall, for the price, I think this is awesome. I've been using it all month long. Next is an eyeshadow. I literally cannot stop using this. This is Makeup Geeks Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow. It's just like the perfect crease color. I pretty much start a ton of looks with this color by blending it through the crease and I just think it's like the perfect transition color. It is definitely on the warmer peachy side but I even when I'm doing cool tone looks, I feel like by putting this color through the crease, it just evens everything out and makes it look, look so much smoother. And it just seems to go with literally everything I try to pair it with. Even if all I'm wearing is just blowing this through the crease, it still looks amazing. So, love this. The next is a blush. This is Max Blush in Harmony. I wore this. I think two makeup tutorials ago, but I just can't put it down. Whenever I want to add a little bit of blush and accentuate my contour a little bit more, but I don't want a lot of color, this is the blush I use. It is so beautiful. It's just a really nice neutral blush color, and I feel like when I swatch it, it looks like me, but on the face, it just always looks so amazing. So this is it right here. I have it on today as well. And again, I didn't want a really colorful blush look, but I wanted to just kind of tie in my bronzer, contour, highlight, etc. And so I go for this and I just love it. It's a really nice consistency too. It's a matte blush. Next is a lip product. I'm not wearing it today, but it is a very similar color. I just couldn't put this down either. This is the famous Kat Von D's liquid lipstick in the color Lolita. I love this. It definitely, I feel like, looks different on different skin tones, but it just is a really nice formula. It's a beautiful color. To me, it's a dark neutral. Like, you could get away wearing this as a neutral color, but it's on the dark side, and it's just a beautiful brown 
with a little bit of a taupey warm undertone to it. At least that's how it pulls on me. So I'm just loving this. I feel like it's an all-around go-to color. And I heard it was restocked, so hopefully you can get your hands on it. But while we're talking lip products, I actually have all my lips right now. This is a new product. I will be... If I haven't already loaded an Ulta haul and like random haul, this will be in it. This is the, I purchased a few of the LA Splash liquid lipsticks. This is in color Nymphae, Nymphae, I don't know, I'll list it below. But this almost looks similar now that I have it on. Okay, it's definitely more pink. So this is the LA Splash liquid lipstick. This is the Kat Von D Lolita. This one's definitely more neutral, less pink than this one. But they're pretty close, so if you're looking for something you can't get your hands on Lolita, I would recommend these. All right, next is a pair of false lashes. They're the lashes I'm wearing right now. These are House of Lashes in the style Siren, and I just really like these because they're like not too full on. They're really nice and wispy. The band is really flexible, and they're really light and airy. They're comfortable to wear, and when I, I don't wear liquid liner very often, so I actually like lashes that don't have a really thick band on them. I still like to apply dark eyelash adhesive. I think it just looks awesome when you do that on a clear band. It just adds that extra oomph of darkness on your lash line. And I just have been really using these a lot. So they give me something without being too over the top. The next item is actually a body product, which I feel like I don't talk a lot about in videos, but I normally like to watch makeup stuff. Maybe that's why I don't include a lot of other things, but this is the Nivea Sunkissed Radiance Gradual Tanner and Body Lotion. This is a medium to dark skin. I stopped using this for a while when I was sunless tanning more often. And recently I have been doing that, it's just too much work and I just haven't been embracing my lighter, paler skin. And all of a sudden I got this out and I started using it and I noticed after one or two days of applying this right after I got out of the shower, I just kind of had a nice little radiance to my skin and instead of being that extra shade of pale, it gave me like one notch up from where it didn't bother me if I had my sports bra rubbing in certain places. It wasn't looking too patchy. It just gave me like that extra oomph of looking refreshed and kind of alive. And so I've really been liking this. It You definitely can tell that it works after a day or two. And it doesn't smell too bad. Yeah, it smells just kind of clean and refreshing. And I just really like it. So I've been doing that this month. I've been using it all month long. All right, my next kind of beauty product is actually a eyelash growth serum. This is called Babe Lash Eyelash Serum. I probably shouldn't have worn false lashes today to show you my eyelashes. If you want me to do an in-depth review of this, let me know. But I've probably been using it for a few months now, and I have noticed a drastic change in the length of my lashes and how thick they are. I would say the length more than anything. They used to be super short and stubby, especially after I had eyelash extensions. And so I started using this and I love it. Like this is my second tube now and I will continue using it. I've noticed a huge, huge, huge difference. So um, I think it was my last makeup haul video I didn't wear I didn't have false lashes on and I had a few comments of people being like oh your lashes look good it's because of this love it next item is a clothing item a pair of shoes I went on a hunt for these these are the Nike Air Max Thea premiums in the color desert camo and they're already dirty because I literally have been wearing the crap out of them like no joke but these are so comfortable they're nice really premium quality leather just tan all around so literally I've been wearing this with dresses like I could wear it with this sweater dress I have on right now I've been wearing it with jeans you could cuff your jeans not cuff your jeans you can pretty much dress down any outfit by throwing these on so you look cute and kind of dressy but then still like cool and sporty at the same time and not to mention they're super comfortable so now that the weather's finally getting cooler here in Arizona I've been busting out like my booties and just boots and just something besides sandals, which is exciting. And I noticed I have been literally wearing these all the time. They're super comfortable. Love them. If I can find a website that still has them in stock, I'll let you know. But 
I literally had to go on a crazy stalker hunt. Like, I purchased these off of a UK website, and I live in the US. But it was so worth it. I love them. All right, my last item is a pair of sunglasses. A few of you asked me about these in my honeymoon vlogs when we went to Bali. These were, like, my go-to pair of sunglasses. But these are a brand called Gentle Monster. I think I ran across them on Instagram, but I literally instantly fell in love. They're super lightweight and comfortable. They're, like mirrored gold frame they're super retro mirrored lenses so i love them because they're super light and comfortable but they're also a pretty edgy shape because they're that like more square shape and i feel like because i have such big cheekbones i definitely like to contrast and look for sunglasses that are more of that square shape because otherwise if i have round and then my round cheeks i just feel like it's too much round going on so I do really like this shape a lot. So anyways, these have been my go-to glasses. And I just love them. They're a little pricey. They're definitely an investment. But if you're someone who takes care of your glasses, then I think they're totally worth it. It is Friday night. We have to get going. We have a birthday party. I feel like every video I'm like, oh, it's birthday party. But... Um, it's been a long week at work, so I finally had a moment to film and talk to you guys. So I wanted to make sure I got this up soon, seeing it's already almost the end of the first week of November. It is our friend Jeff's birthday. You've seen him in some vlogs, and we're going over to their house. We're having a little whiskey tasting party with food pairings, so it should be a great time. I would love to hear your favorites. I don't want this to just be a one-way street. I want to hear your favorites. So comment below. Let me know what your top one or two favorite products have been the past month that you just can't stop using. I would love to know so I can try it out as well. If you guys like this video, please like it. I'll see you in my next one.